Now, how do you know when to train again? Let's say I worked out Monday and <clears throat> what do I do? I, I, you take off Tuesday, you train again. So I can tell you without a doubt, it's always a mistake to train two days in a row. Okay, I agree with that. You have to understand that, again, the body doesn't grow during the workout, it grows during the rest periods. Right. We have learned through observation that training two days is always a mistake because 24 hours between workouts is not enough time to allow for full recovery and full growth. Right. The first thing you do after a workout, Bill, is not grow, but recover. Mm -hmm. Right? Right. Put back what was used up. When you're done working out, you don't feel the same as you did before the workout, do you? Right. You're exhausted. Something was used up. The first thing your body will do after the workout, therefore, is devote its energy and resources to recovery or compensate for the exhaustive effects of the workout. That takes time. It doesn't happen in five minutes. It can take up to several days for some people. It is only once the body has fully compensated for the exhaustive effects of the workout, i.e. recovered, that it will then devote its energy and resources to overcompensation or putting back a little bit more than was there before the workout. Remember, recovery is compensation, putting back what was used up. Growth is overcompensation, putting back a little bit more than was there before the workout. Do you see what happened, Bill, if you were to work out again before compensation is fully completed? You would destroy the opportunity to make it. Yeah. Overcompensate. Even if you're working different muscle groups. Remember from the first tape, I emphasize that in addition to having a localized effect on the muscle you're working, exercise also has a systemic effect. It, it affects the whole body, mm -hmm. the entire physical system. I have seen with my phone consultation clients and my in the gym clients that they do best on an every 72 to 96 hour program. Okay, so I can train my chest on Monday, then again on Friday, or wait a minute. No, no. You would train your chest and back on Monday. Okay. Take Tuesday and Wednesday off, and on Thursday, and on an every 72-hour program, you would do your shoulders and arms. Right. Then you would take Friday and Saturday off, and on Sunday, train your legs. Okay. Now, the next week, Bill, you would not train Monday. You would take Monday and Tuesday off, train Wednesday. Right. Every 72 hours. Breaking the body up into three groups. Right. That's just one way to do it. Now. I don't have everybody doing this. There are those individuals, remember, that don't tolerate high intensity exercise as well as others. Mm -hmm. In those cases, especially, overtraining often results from overlapping. When I see certain individuals not making satisfactory progress on the program I just recommended, I eliminate as much overlap as I can. I'll take the shoulders and arms out of the program entirely, consolidate it into a basic compound exercise routine focusing on the major muscle groups the chest and the back and the legs mm -hmm. the the chest work indirectly and even directly stimulates the shoulders and triceps right and the back work does the same thing with the biceps i have had clients that have made better progress with their shoulders and arms after eliminating specific exercises for those areas hmm. Remember, overtraining is often the result of overlapping. When I say it's easy to overtrain, I ain't joking. Right. I used to say years ago, Bill, that high-intensity, heavy-duty training was like going out into the intense August sun. You'll get a suntan every time you go out, but even one minute more exposure than required or needed. Remember the importance of the concept need. One minute more than is needed, you'll get a sunburn. Mm -hmm. Then I came to understand a few years ago that I was wrong. It's more demanding than high intensity sunlight in August. It's more like going out into the intense August sun with the sun five million miles closer to the earth. Right. You see where that would necessitate a reduced volume and frequency of exposure? Yep. Now, more, now just recently, I amended it again, and I'm not spreading it thick here to make a point. High intensity, heavy duty training. Weight training in general is not like going out into the intense August sun. It's more like jumping into a fire. It'll warm you up, but one minute more exposure than required, it'll burn you. Mm -hmm. You gotta be careful with this stuff.